Hi guys, welcome to Total Technic. In today's video we're going to be doing a guided tour of the engine bay for an Audi S4. Uh, this particular one is a B7 uh, S4. However, the uh, layout of all the major components is identical for the B6 and the B7. So, let's take a look. Okay, so let's take a, a quick look around the, uh, the engine bay here. Uh, if we start, let's start with the, uh, the air intake here. Uh, as you can see, we've got um, an air intake uh, vent built into the, uh, the grill here. Uh, the air comes in uh, through, these, uh, through these two pipes and down into the, uh, the top of the air box here. Uh, this, uh, this is the air box right here. Uh, this unit here is quite big. As you can see, that goes along, goes into the other uh, mass airflow sensor, uh, which is this unit here with electrical connector uh, on the rear, and, um, and that goes into a, another pipe and then uh, down into the uh, the uh, back of the engine under the engine covers there as well. Uh, here um, we have the uh, connectors, uh, the um, uh, filler and drainer for your uh, aircon system, as that's where these are located. Uh, under this uh, kind of square cutout area, this is the lid of the uh, main box for your uh, engine ECU. So that's kind of the main brain of your car, if you like, is sat in, inside this is a waterproof uh, box. That's when you take this, uh, this scuttle tray panel off, you'll have a lid there on top of a box. You can remove that and that'll give you access to your main uh, ECU. Uh, you've also got your uh, your brake fluid uh, reservoir, and, and um, under that you've got your servo and everything. That's all. That's all in there, as well. And on this uh, on this particular uh, model, the Audi S4, uh, the battery is located uh, just underneath the, the um, this little kind of door uh, in the uh, back of the scuttle there. Uh, so that's where that's located. Uh, pollen filter wise, uh, again, I can't quite show you, but the, uh, the pollen filter uh, is located, this is why we've got this, uh, this air intake here, is located up underneath the, uh, the back there. Uh, we're doing a service video for the, uh, for the S4 soon, so we'll, we'll add a link for you. Uh, so if you want to do your own service, uh, you can do that and we'll show you the, uh, the change on the pollen filter then. So coming down into the, uh, the engine bay, uh, obviously we've got our uh, coolant reservoir uh, there. Uh, these take the long life G12 uh, coolant on the uh, the S4. Uh, to the side of that, we've got the uh, the ABS pump right there, and then we have our washer fluid. Uh, that's the upper uh, reservoir. There's an upper and a lower one. One kind of sits uh, tucked around the the wheel arch. Uh, so obviously, it takes a lot more fluid than than that little one that you can see just there. Uh, this here is uh, that's your power steering uh, fluid container right there. And then this is the uh, the top of the uh, the headlight here with the uh, with the uh, warning uh, symbol on it. That's that's your top of your headlight. Uh, dipstick uh, is obviously on on this side on these. And here you can see the uh, the coil packs. Uh, v, obviously a V8 engine, so we've got uh, four on each side. Underneath the coil packs, uh, obviously, is the are the spark plugs. Uh, the coil packs attached directly onto the ends of the uh, spark plugs. And then we've got these uh, four plastic connectors, which are connected by this uh, red plastic bar. Uh, often, if they've not been serviced properly, uh, you'll see that this uh, red bar is snapped or cracked or whatever. It's very easily done uh, unless you um, kind of know how to remove that properly. Obviously an Audi technician would know exactly how to remove that. And so if a car's been to Audi all, its, all of its life, uh, that, that should not be broken. If you uh, have a look in an Audi and this is all kind of uh, snapped and broken, that's a, a good sign that it's not perhaps gone to the best garages uh, during its lifetime. Um, coming along, obviously we've got the uh, front uh, engine cover, which doesn't really hide too much to be honest. The uh, rear engine cover here with the Audi logo. I'll just pop that one up. And uh, underneath there, you can see uh, your oil filter. Uh, so that's your oil filter uh, located right there. And you can see the uh, the air intake um, coming into the uh, the throttle body down there as well. Um, so you've got quite a lot of uh, pipes and gubbins on these, quite, quite surprising. Uh, we will be filming a full engine removal uh, video on, on an S4 as well uh, in, in the near future. Um, so it's quite a big, quite a big uh, engine in quite a small space, uh, but we'll show you that as well. Uh, we also have there the fuel injector um, uh, rails. These are electrical connectors uh, for your fuel injectors uh, just here. Uh, that's what the uh, the black one is there, and these are actually the uh, the fuel lines uh, here that come in over the top of the uh, the air box and into into the uh, into the top of the engine here. Uh, those are those as well. Uh, so that's a quick guided tour of some of the uh, the major components dotted around the uh, the engine bay there. 
hopefully that's a kind of a useful reference tool for, for some people or, or other people just kind of find this stuff interesting. Uh, but that is the Audi uh, S4. Like I said, the layout's identical on the B6 and the B7. The B6 has got an additional engine cover uh, that goes over the airbox here and an additional engine cover that kind of sits over this whole kind of area over here as well. Uh, so you can kind of see a little bit less on the B6 than you can uh, on the B7 like we have here. But anyway guys, hope you've enjoyed it and we'll see you on the next video. Thank you.